Hey, John, how are you doing? Pretty good, yourself? Not too bad. Uh, the customer that ordered these brackets is looking for a sampling of the product to ensure that it meets their quality standards. Can you help me with this? Sure. We call that tolerance testing. Tolerance is the allowable amount of variation in a part in order for the part to work or function properly. Let's take a look at the information the customer sent you. This means the bracket is supposed to be seven inches long, but brackets that are eighth inch longer or shorter will still work. Let's find the high and low end of the tolerance and draw it out. The bracket is supposed to be seven inches long, so at the high end of the tolerance, it'd be seven and an eighth inches, and any parts longer than seven and an eighth would be too long. And at the low end of the tolerance, the bracket could be six and seven eighths inches and still work. So if the bracket is shorter than six and seven eighths inches or longer than seven and an eighth inches, it won't work. Well, we'll have to take sample. To get our sample, we have to randomly pick parts and measure them. Their order is for 150 parts. How many parts will we have to measure and how many parts can be outside of the tolerance with a 2% error rate? 10% of 150 parts equals our sample size of 15. Our sample size is 15 and our error rate can be 2%, so we can't have parts outside of the tolerance range. Let's get our 15 parts and start measuring. I'll give you a moment to convert the fractions to decimals and put them in the chart. Since we had one part out of tolerance, we'll need to check our machine and adjust it to make sure the rest of the parts are correct. Let's make those adjustments replace the part that was too long, and process the rest of the customer's order. And we'll continue to sample throughout the batch to make sure the rest of the parts fall into conformity. We use simplified numbers in this exercise. Most orders require a tighter tolerance, and for that we use a caliper to measure. Now a caliper can measure all the way down to one one thousandth of an inch. Did you know that the average human hair measures two one thousandths of an inch? As a bonus question, can you answer the following?